Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to get educated before you start using real money. Today is uh, Monday and it's surprising today. It was a really wonderful day today in the market. The market was moving really smoothly, nicely. And uh, it's the 314, 21st of March. Uh, I'm going to start with the CL4 range. It did very well and we were about to finish and then we had two losing trade in the road. If you see the previous trade, it was no losing trade, no losing trade, no losing trade. And then we, when we are about to be done, the last trade was south, another trade and then I did it. So that's what happened sometimes when you don't stop auto trading. On the CL10 range, it was a really lovely day. No, no losing trade. One, two, three, four, done. No losing trade, 10 range. All of them on $1,000 target. He has 190 ticks. I always highlight the 190 ticks. It's wonderful. It's been doing very well. And uh, uh, today uh, we were done. Uh, uh, I started a little bit early today, uh, around 8, 8.30. So we were done because of Monday. And uh, we were done with uh, 2,000. Beautiful entry, beautiful exit right on the spot. Uh, Scalpin CL 45 seconds did 1,100. NASDAQ 5 minute did 1,200. Uh, CL 12 range, the CL is doing an amazing job on the precision auto trade. ES 3 minutes scalping, they all hit targets. ES 5 minutes. NASDAQ scalping, 3 minutes, 1100. Uh, this one here is scalping, ES 3 minutes, 1100. Russell, 19 second. I like this challenge when there is no losing trade. No losing trade. Very rare you find losing trades. There we go. No losing trade on the Russell 19 second. All winning trades. Of course, it depends on the market movement. He has five minutes, no losing trade. One, two, three, four, 2800. That was perfect entry, perfect uh, exit, perfect time frame for today's market movement. So uh, this this is was good uh, on the ES. Did the ES moved a little bit uh, today? Nasdaq thirty nine second, one entry and it is done. Look where he, he got the entry all the way at the bottom, reverse, finished. Beautiful, 2700. CL, nine range, no losing trade. The 30 year treasury bond today did very well. It was trending and you can see how we spot the trend before it happened. Look at this. If we look at this chart and the market was going up and predicted is going to go short is the opposite what the ATR would have done. The ATR auto trade would have taken long in here. This one took short. It's the opposite. And there we go. One and two. Perfect. 1700 three minutes es8 range we have a losing trade but then when we had this beautiful trend here caught it and it was 2125 ym two minutes 1000 1880 cl 22nd here we have a losing trade, small one, winning, winning, 
small losing trade you can see how small the uh, the uh, the stop loss and one winning trade so this was a little bit choppy then we have no losing trade on the 30-year treasury bond 60 second short break even and and uh, the last trade was perfect trade 1656 nasdaq it did uh, this one is not a scalping is auto trading and the nasdaq did very well uh, on the nasdaq and there we go one two three and did four thousand four hundred and fifty five On the Nasdaq 275, did 1600, no losing trade. On the ES, three minutes, no losing trade. Scalp and CL, three minutes, 1440, no losing trade. ES, two minutes, 1825, no losing trade on the Precision Auto Trade, 28 seconds. Let me bring uh, one more is uh, the TI7. Uh, the TI7 is a much bigger uh, auto trade and uh, we normally show the minutes and the ticks and the range. Uh, I don't show rank bar because it's a sign of weakness. I only have one chart to show that you can trade the uh, rank bar and this is a normal rank bar to just showing you that you can trade uh, on the rank bar uh, the system but for me personally I don't even look at rank bar only if I wanted to reverse the market I look at rank bar well you can do much better if you have a different we have a rank bar as well and I'm just showing for just showing that you can trade with rank bar and we have a few entries on the TI7 and the institutional auto trade. The institutional also is a total uh, different uh, auto trade. Uh, there is uh, both, this is total different auto trade than the institutional auto trade. Uh, sorry, this is an institutional says on the uh, left upper corner, uh, those two and uh, the ES and those are there is a, for the Renko lover, uh, there is a few uh, entries specifically for the Renko bars lover. Uh, but uh, for me, uh, is, uh, Renko bar is only for reversal, which we have a different auto trade for reversal. You know, but we don't show it because there is around 15 auto trade. We cannot show everything. All of it is included in your package. There is nothing, you know, uh, extra or anything like that. So uh, this one here on the institutional, there is uh, uh, systems, especially for Renko bar entry and uh, 1300 on the institutional to get it out of the way. And uh, this is an institutional. The difference between this one, this one made um, uh, 2450 on the ES five minutes. It says institutional auto trade. On this one it says TI7, so this is a big difference uh, between those two auto trades. On the CL8 range, uh, did uh, very well at 1170. ES8 range, 1175, this is so funny, it's the same number almost. 1150, you can see they're all with the same range, uh, CL55 second. Uh, the DAX, I only have one chart. I've been using the same chart for over a year. Uh, for 3,847. Uh, YM, five minutes, 1,250. Uh, ES, four minutes, scalping, 1,500. The gold, four minutes, 3,000. The gold, you know, look at this wig on that gold now. You see that? And... Uh, well, there is a potential for the gold to go up 
because of there is a lot of institutional uh, start jumping on the gold. Uh, it was bar boring for the last few years, the gold. But now uh, it is uh, you need to keep your eye on the gold because I think a lot of I know a lot of institutionals has jumped in on the gold uh, because of the crisis. And uh, there is a good potential uh, to, I have not analyzed it on a higher time frame. I can pinpoint what they are looking for. Uh, I can see exactly what they are looking for and where is their target and where is their uh, profit taking is going to be on the gold. But I have not had time to do that. Maybe uh, I will cover that on the other channel when we have a chance. We've been extremely uh, sprayed out with the timing. Uh, but um, a lot of institutions will start going back on the gold. So you expect uh, to for day trading the gold is going to be a lot of movement on the gold for now. So uh, this is uh, it could be potential go to 3000. I'm not sure I need to look at it because I don't believe uh, anybody analysis except mine. So um, and I do a good job on it too try to predict what's going on and I can see what they're looking at and I can see where their movement and because they don't just keep going they go on a percentage profit so we will see we will analyze the gold and see try to predict where it's going but it's going to be a lot of movement for auto traders on the gold and you better have some smart systems you're not going to able to take the gold on an ATR auto trade uh, 2,475 uh, on the NASDAQ two minutes and uh, on the uh, uh, gold again 1,000 and uh, on this one here I still have one more trade 280 and I did 2,000 and there is one trade left and if you want to you can just close it uh, from here and if you want to or if you wanted to keep it you can keep it or uh, direct the auto trade the way you want it uh, ES has two minutes 3400 this is lovely trade uh, 2900 on the uh, 13 range and then ES 11 range uh, then we have uh, ES 11 range I mean, this one is an ES11 range and this one is an ES11 range. The difference is because uh, the TI7 have a two, have few uh, entries. So on this ES11 range is based on one entry. And this one here is based on a total different entry. And you can see the different 2100 and 1000. That's why uh, you can see there is a different in the trades. Uh, CL 5 minutes 11.90, ES 2 minutes 11.62, ES 5 minutes 11.75, CL 9 range 19.40. One minute, this is a statement, the one minute. Not too many auto trades can trade one minute. 12 range ES 12.50 and 14 second, which most of the auto trades fell when they are auto trading seconds. And there we go, 16. Uh, 62. I will show one more. It's called the scalper. It's a total different auto trade as well. The scalper is a very, very friendly use uh, and it's the same as uh, the precision auto trade. Uh, both of them have one entry and extremely accurate. And um, if you don't want to deal with the trailing stop, stop plus, you can put them on zero. And the auto trade can figure out when to exit and scalp. And so the NASDAQ 10 range 1380. And then we have the ES6 range 1200, which we covered that in the webinar. And uh, we made this template. Gold again 1140, 9 range 1000, Russell. 1425 gold again 1340 uh, 1000 even on the 8 range 
and on the CL435, 1325, NASDAQ 495 takes, 2240, ES5 range, 1200, YM290 takes, 1485, ES595 takes, if you are a tick lover, it's perfect look, it's perfect trades, 1350, 520 30 year treasury bond beautiful trade and then es6 range the difference between this es6 range and uh, that one one of them is a limited order and the other one is a market order somehow they are almost the same practically every day not every day but almost the same the difference is uh, on the limited order you can save the slippage Thank you very much for today and uh, we will look forward to see you on the other channel live tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Bye for now.